Cubs made a big trade today, acquired Aroldis Chapman, got four players in return, including the Cubs' top prospect, a 19-year-old shortstop prospect named Gliber Torres. But that doesn't necessarily mean, Dave Moore said, that that's what will set the market if even the Royals were to part with Wade Davis. They may not do that, and it's not all equal. But what are the Royals' options? Well, I think last year maybe got a little bit spoiled when they did have Christmas in July. They got Johnny Cueto. They got Ben Zobras. I don't know that the Royals necessarily have the resources available in the farm system to pull off a trade like that. But certainly, guys injured, guys coming back, maybe we'll see what happens. But I don't look for the Royals to do a whole lot, to be honest. And remember this, too, as you read and hear about all of these rumors so often, more times than not, it is just that rumors it's a lot of fun but who knows what the Royals will do but there is also the chance that they could just get some help from within we, we met today at length on uh, evaluating our internal options uh, of course you know we're hopeful to get Lorenzo Kane back uh, sooner than later and um, and then again evaluating our internal options and I'm not sure we have a player that can come up here right now and and carry us and hit it the, in the top of the lineup or the middle of the lineup but you know we we, we may have some uh, players that can you know give us a spark or give us some energy or you know perform a, a certain skill that uh, you know uh, puts us uh, you know in a better position to win a baseball game I might be wrong, but that description, not top or middle of the lineup, energy, sounds like Raul Montesi Jr., 20-year-old, switch hitting shortstop, also been playing second base. Monty, last 10 at AAA, 359, eight runs, eight RBI, five stolen bases. Maybe. Well, it sounds to me like the timetable is maybe sooner rather than later. I had a very small sample size of as far as watching Mondesi play in spring training, and I was totally impressed with his tools and his abilities. And again, Dayton never mentioned his name, but just what he described is at least the type of player Raul Mondesi is, and I couldn't see them bringing him up to lead off or be in the middle of the lineup. He would fit beautifully at the bottom of the lineup, come up and play second base, move with Merrifield around. We'll see if that happens or not. You see his numbers, and when he went up to AAA, had that suspension, which was reduced from 80 games, but he has been very good at AAA, and what everybody tells me is, is this from within the organization. The hitting may still take some time at the big league level, but he has, if not Gerard Dyson's speed, very elite speed. Oh, there's no doubt. His tools are enormous. Phenomenal tools that he has. He's going to grow into some power. I saw him take some batting practice in spring training. Very impressive power. It'll it'll play itself out in games later on. And I had heard that even when he was 17, 18 years old, that this is a kid that one day could be a 15 to 20 home run guy.